tongue powder. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, uh, I recently did uh, chemotherapy. Um, yeah, not voluntarily. <laughs> I didn't see someone else and go, give me that. <laughs> um, how's this right? I was in chemotherapy, they inject you with some things, and they're like, Nick, you're gonna feel like your bones are getting bigger. So one time I felt like my, my skull was too big for my head, <laughs> right? And it's hard to describe. <laughs> like when your partner's like, um, why didn't you park closer to the door? You're like, it's cause my skull is too big for my head. <laughs> and uh, I felt like I was growing a tail for some reason. <laughs> and, uh, I went to the doctor and I said, Nick, what you've got is you've got a pylonidal cyst. Soldiers get them from sitting in jeeps for too long, and also gay men get them from, <laughs> you know, hard pressure. Are you a soldier or a gay man? <laughs> and I said, no, I'm neither of those. I'm a stand-up comedian, the biggest hero of them all. <laughs> So I had the side effects of either fucking a man or killing a man, and I didn't get to do either. <laughs> My biggest fantasy. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll leave on this right. I was in the hospital, and um, I was uh, there, and I saw a man, an old man, and you know when you see a dapper old man. You want to see a man who's got his hair combed to the side, collar up, and he looks like James Dean or something, like a Paul Newman, just a fucking hot old man. <laughs> and he was sitting in a wheelchair, and he said, excuse me, sir, can you help me? I said, yeah, I will. He said, can you pull my shirt down? Because his shirt was kind of stuck up, and his old man tits <laughs> were just hanging out the bottom. So he, and I was like, yeah, I'll help you, because you're going to look like a Rolls Royce with flat tires. <laughs> and as I went to pull his shirt down, notice he had the biggest nipples ever. <laughs> and I'm not talking about, oh, little fuck around Chippendale nipples. Like, oh, little couple who met in the war zone nipples. Like, little fucking PR nipples. Right? I'm talking big nipples. I'm talking industrial sized nipples. <laughs> Like, these things would look out of place on a tractor dashboard. <laughs> and I had to help him because he kind of looked like a Rolls Royce with flat tires, you know? <laughs> Go to pull his shirt down. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but... I wanted to touch him. <laughs> Not in a sexual way. I just, I just thought it might bring me luck. <laughs> you know, like a leprechaun at the end of the rainbow or something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs>